HG tonight is the entertainment. <laughs> Hello, okay, Israel. Look. How are you doing? Yeah, your hairstyle. Though. Oh, Christmas is coming. It's coming. Oh, you never sang that. Okay, you're so old. Christmas yeah. is coming. New Year will follow. Hey, which one is that? We yeah. never sang that one. My 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 time. We're singing. Mama buy shoe for me. <laughs> you know that kind of thing. Anyway, so how are you doing? Well, great stuff from the weekend, and we were waiting for. A reply anxiously for a reply we talk about the fact that whiskey doesn't you know responding yeah. to all the issues and also Puerto Rankin is not responding but finally we got in Maya to respond because he was live on social media and someone threw the question to him and so let's hear what Timaya had to say about Shatawali make it this track for Shatawali who please this Shatawali who is this Shatawali I don't know him until I just did hear for internet chat. I don't know that guy. What what does he do? Does he sing? Is he a shoemaker or is he a plumber? I don't know, please. I don't know. Charlie, our own Shatawali. It's, it's, it's a this. I mean, but clearly, I'm sure he knows. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, yeah. He knows Shatawali. He can, ne he can never say that he doesn't know Shatawali. Oh, the guy is asking if he's a shoemaker mm -hmm. or a plumber. And you say he knows him. Of course, he's saying something. He's asking those questions just so that you, just to make you feel that you're nobody. Okay, so Shatawale will never feel like he's nobody. He's got response already. He's got a reply already for Timaya. Shatawale has a studio in his house. I think when he, 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 he wakes up, he goes to the studio and he decides who he wants to prepare a track for or record a track for. And this time around, it's for Timaya. You know the you say you know nobody. You know, Timaya does a lot of yeah yeah in his song, so that's why yeah 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 that's Timaya. But I don't like the fact that he had to draw in Timaya's parents, so um, that's the response uh, to the assertion by Timaya that he doesn't know him. Is he going to react to everybody? Anybody? Like I'm like, can you just It's like a full time job. Oh. But he has a studio in his home. He records the beat himself and he does everything himself. So he doesn't have any problem at all. He doesn't pay for studio. But I'm thinking that he could channel that energy to giving us more hit songs because this ones are not flying. Well, probably one hit song will drop out of it. Let's well, let's see what happens. Yeah. Who else is going to speak? Will Paturankin speak? Will Whiskey speak? Well, we don't know. But let's talk about the 2018 budget and all that it says about the tourism, arts, and culture sector. Now, the minister, Catherine Afeku, remember that when we we're talking about the budget, I raised a lot of concerns about what was featured in the 2017 budget. There was nothing oh, she says we should people. shut up. She doesn't know what we are looking for. She says this budget has 70% increment. She spoke to Maxwell Amufia. It wasn't little. As a matter of fact, since independence, this is the first time the Ministry of Tourism has had a 70% increase in its budgetary allocation. It's never happened. It tells you the president has a good vision for the creative arts. The Ministry of Finance supports the vision that we are rolling out. And it is the first time that we are actually working on putting a creative arts fund. There's been a lot of talk in the past. There's been efforts in the past. Past. But if you look at funds that are set up to support our industry, there's not been a lot of thought put in it. You had the media fund, that became a scandal. And for those of us who are coming from an area where management is our core, you have to have modalities. Who is a creative art person? How do you disperse fund? And what are they going to do with the fund? If you don't have these questions answered, it will just be whittling away government re resources that is scarce. So that's why in the budget we were able to get the finance minister to read exactly our wish. Feasibility study will be conducted to start the process of creating a creative arts fund. 
if you just throw 10 million cities into a fund and then it becomes sharing money with your cronies, we don't want to be part of that scandal. We want to do a job that leaves a lasting legacy for His Excellency, the President of the Republic, who is our strong patron. He loves the arts, the music, the movies, but we have to do it properly. With the increment, uh, I'm sure a number of dentists don't even yeah, are aware that. So, but what wasn't yeah. that stated categorically in the report we saw? I don't know what they were expecting, but it, you have to have the feasibility study first, and then you, you set up the fund second, and then you can actually do a process of disbursement that is transparent. Okay, Some so of them are, are well, no, not a lot of people are buying that. I'll tell you tomorrow what Obo says about what she said so far. But let's talk about the biggest wedding of the year in West Africa. I know that there's a wedding coming up in spring 2018. But first of all, let's talk about West Africa. And the final, you know, ceremony took place in South Africa. Right. Uh, Mount Temple, I hear it's called. So Banki W, Adesoa, and all the superstars from Nigeria were in South Africa over the weekend for the wedding that is making me want to, you know, have my wedding all over again. But it was superfluous. Like, what happened th that, you know, caught a lot of people's attention was the fact that we skid didn't make it as promised. And okay. a lot of Nigerians are not happy. So those are the pictures of all the guys who were able to get to South Africa for uh, the Wellington's wedding. So that's the bad 2017 some of the pictures. Uh, this was senior brother walked here down the aisle. So this are the freshest couple in Nigeria. I know they are, they are getting back to Nigeria today. It's all done. Finally, finally, finally. So they can. But whiskey, like I said, promised to be there. Yeah. He wasn't there. He says he's still waiting for his passport. We saw him over the weekend uh, playing video game with the son. So he's having daddy time but a lot of nigerians are not happy with him because like i told you last time whisked is whisked because of banky w eme records held whisked from day one until he decided to form star boy and so people are not happy that he wasn't able to get there but he said in his tweets that it's not about him it's about adesua and banky w and he's happy for them and that's all that matters then let's talk about the royal wedding yeah. that we are a expecting 2018 everybody's talking about it so prince harry and actress megan mckill getting married in 2018 but they are engaged and this is how cnn decided to report it and that prince harry has announced his wedding engagement to american actress megan markle kensington palace announcing the two are set to wed in spring of 2018 wait spring of 2018 that's coming up Let's bring in CNN's Max Foster in London. Good morning, Max. And I will admit I have been following this relationship in the tabloids, and now it apparently is true and real. Uh, bring, bring us up to speed. You'll be as relieved as everyone else then. They were starting <laughs> to call it the Markle debacle, the whole uh, speculation oh, about when they were going to announce this. But as I suspected, they already are engaged. They got engaged apparently earlier this month. Uh, they've informed the whole royal family. They've informed Meghan Markle's family as well. And as you say, it is sooner than we expect. We're expecting a wedding in the summer, but actually it's in uh, spring next year. And we will get to see them uh, in an official photo call for the very first time this afternoon. They're going to uh, do uh, a, an appearance, some sort of appearance at Kensington Palace, I understand. So those images uh, will be blasted around the world. And I think for many, I don't know, it plays into a fairy tale, uh, doesn't it? That uh, this idea that um, Prince Harry met uh, his princess over in America. Uh, she's an actress, of course, and uh, they've been together quite a long time for about a year we understand and a huge amount of pressure on them and uh, Prince Harry doesn't react very well to media pressure so they have very successfully kept this quiet but now they've finally come out into the open. Yeah we watched her as she um, sort of unwound her career and her blog right I mean she's she's leaving the show that she's on suits um, the Markle debacle just like Wady Katie remember the tabloids were yeah. wrong they were wrong wrong And one of the things I heard was mm -hmm. uh, that they actually, you know, met on a blind date. Is it? I mean, how do you... I didn't know, you know, uh, monarchs also engage in blind Oh, things. he's human, you know. But the thing I didn't mm -hmm. expect was maybe getting married to an actress. You know, all the issues around, okay. you know, actresses. So they've, grant, they've actually had uh, granted their first interview. Let's mm -hmm. just watch it. All right. What am I doing? Just roasting chicken roasting and having chicken. <laughs> trying to roast chicken. <laughs> trying to roast the chicken, and it was just a, uh, just an amazing surprise. It was so sweet, and 
and natural and very romantic. He got on one knee. <laughs> of course. Was it an instant yes from you? Yes. As a matter of fact, I could barely let you finish proposing. I was like, can I say yes now? She didn't Israel, the, but the what kind of question is that? Yes. Was it an instant yes? Was it an instant yes? What was the interviewer <laughs> expecting to hear? Nobody, I mean, you know, hey, you know how ladies sometimes hey, you want to play hard to get. <laughs> this one, not, not thinking through. <laughs> yes, 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 and yes again. <laughs> But uh, we are so happy for them. I know that, you know, we'll be monitoring and bringing you all the exclusive. 2018 is just some few months from now. Oh, yeah, so yeah. definitely. But that'll be for entertainment. Israel. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. G.